Hey, howdy, howdy. Sunday fun day. So we're gonna do a quick little algorithm video here. I'm working on some development tutorials right now with uh, React, Node, and kind of full stack development stuff, but it's taken a little while to get them together, so I figured I'd, I was just doing some programming this morning when I woke up just to keep things sharp. And I, I do that even now, still to this day. I'll, I'll usually, like when I get my work day started, I'll kind of, you know, keep the blade sharp, do little algorithms here and there, just to, just to keep it fresh, you know, to keep, to keep the memory there, because it is kind of a, a learned skill that if you don't use, you kind of lose. Like today, for example, this is a fairly easy problem, but it took me a good 10 minutes to figure it out, whereas normally, back in the day, this would be like, I could get through it quickly. So the less that you use it, the more that you actually do uh, kind of get out of practice with it, just like anything. So anyways, in this actual uh, example, what we're going to do is we're going to be given a string, and it's pretty straightforward, A, B, A, A, B, B, C, 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 D, D, E, and this is the substring that we're looking for, the longest continuous repeating substring is what we're looking for. And you can assume that there will be only one longest repeating substring, so it's not like a gotcha or something, so we're just trying to find this right here. So let's figure it out. So basically let's start up a uh, function, we'll just call this one max power. And then what we can do in here is we can pass in that string. So str is going to be passed in. So when you think about it, what we're going to do is an iterative solution to where we're going to be checking, we're going to be checking like the current maximum that we're at versus an overall maximum length, right? So the first thing that we need to do is let's just declare a couple of variables up here. So we'll let max equal zero, let current max equal one. So the reason that I put current max at one is because it's always going to be one. Like if we, if we're on this A right here, let's say that A is the current letter, then, and that's what we're, that's what we're, we're through on the, on the iterate, the iteration that we're on, then the current max is going to be just that standalone letter. So current max is never going to be zero. It's never going to be nothing. So we'll set that and then we'll do our for loop. So we'll go for let I equals zero. I less than str dot link I plus plus simple stuff. So once we got that, now what we need to do is we need to basically I can set up a couple of constants here, like one for the current, what the current element's going to be, and then one for the next. That, I find that's the easiest way. So we go const current equals str at i, and then obviously const next is going to be str at i plus one. So if we were on the first the first part of the loop, this would be current, this would be next, obviously. So then really all we need to do is just check to see if current, if it's equal to next. So are they the same thing? If they are the same thing, like if these two match, then what we really want to do is just add to the current max, right? So we can go current max plus plus, and then, so that's all we really need to do, and then in the other case, in case they don't match, we can just, we can just assign the max to equal math.max between max and current max. And then we can just reset current max to one, right? So right here, what we're doing is we're saying, if they're equal, we'll increase current max, we'll just increase it. So we'll go from, from one to two. So it'll say, okay, the current max is two. And then we'll go to the next loop. We'll go, we'll go to the next line. So that would be A and B. These do not match. So we'll hit this else block. And then we would say, okay, well, max, the current max is two right now. So we would say max is going to equal math.max. Math.max, which is a built-in JavaScript method, it just chooses the largest number of the given the given options. We would say max is equal to math.max of the max, which we have at zero right now, and current max, which would be two because we had this A and A, and then we would set the current max back to one. So max right now would be two, current max would go back to one, 
and then we would get on this B and run the process over again. So if you walk through the algorithm, you can see how that works. It's a little bit unintuitive, but you can walk through it and find it. And then down here, we just want to return max. So basically here, what we're testing for, this should return three, basically, because we have CCC, there is three. So let's open up our integrated terminal. And let's go up here, and we'll go node, uh, repeating substring. And cool, it returns three. So let's do another case. Let's uh, let's take this down to two, and let's make this three, uh, two, three, four, five. So this should return five. So save it, and it does. Okay, cool. So that's the solution. Uh, I'll put a link to my GitHub. Uh, yeah, and I hope it helps. All right, take it easy.